Hi everyone, this is me Bilal here from microcontrollerslab.com. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to use this MOSFET driver IR21084. This is basically the same as IR2110, but it has more capabilities than IR2110. In this tutorial, we are using IR21084 as a high side and low side MOSFET driver. As you can see, uh, MOSFET Q1 is used as a high side MOSFET driver and QQ2 is used as low side MOSFET driver and we are using this is basically a configuration of uh, uh, a half bridge and we are converting a dc into scare wave we have given an input of 600 volt dc to to high side MOSFET driver and those side MOSFET driver is usually connected with the ground so what we are doing here we are converting a 600 volt dc into scare wave ac and here we are using two pulses uh, you can use a one pulse as well because if you if you give one pulse to high and same pulse you can give it to low as well because same pulse will go to a pin number three as an inverted input so you can use a one pwm as well if, if you are using a microcontroller you will only generate a one pwm and uh, you will connect a same pwm to pin number two and three because pin number three is an inverted version of pin number two and similarly uh, all the pins uh, have the uh, have basic functionalities pin number five is a ground pin pin number six is a common pin you can find more description about the uh, pins and its working and description of all the pins in the, in the data sheet of ir21084 and here uh, basically c2 is a boost capacitor if you want to know more about uh, what is high side mosfet driver and how to design a low side mosfet driver i have written a separate article on it I I have provided a link of that article in the description of the video and uh, please when you're using IR21084 with high voltage uh, for example you are using 600 volt I recommend you to use uh, power supply to uh, IR21084 around uh, 20 volt which is basically uh, used for bootstrapping and uh, uh, we are using 600 volt uh, resistor as a load so now let's run the simulation and see how it works and the output of uh, this half which should be a scale wave of uh, magnitude 300 plus minus 300 so let's run the simulation and check how it works as you can see uh, these are the these are the two signals uh, pwm signals uh, as you can see oscilloscope uh, channel A is connected with uh, PWM pin 2 and similarly oscilloscope channel D is connected with pin WL channel 2 so these are the uh, these are the uh, inputs we are providing to our MOSFET driver as you can see when uh, PWL1 is on other one is also on but we are but we are feeding this uh feeding is to th pin three and here uh, if you if you provide here one uh, automatically zero zero, zero is go uh, will appear in, in lin pin because this is an inverted version so now let's turn them off for displaying and now turn the uh, output on as you can see here we are getting 300 uh, around 300 volt uh, positive voltage and similarly we are getting minus 300 volt negative so this is basically a, a scare wave uh, of uh, magnitude plus minus 300 and uh, this is how we design a scare wave inverter and uh, as you know an inverter uh, uh, works by converting a DC into AC and you can also use this MOSFET driver IR21084 in modified and sine wave inverter applications as well so it also depends on how you are uh, feeding a PWM to your MOSFET driver if you are, if you provide it as PWM you can most probably get output uh, in the form of sine wave at the output so this is all about IR21084 and how to design a scare wave inverter using IR21084 thanks for watching this video in uh, coming videos I will come up with more interesting uh, videos on uh, on power electronics and microcontrollers don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks for watching this video